This book is called Rooster Can't Cock a Doodle Doo by Karen Rustiker Gruber. Sounds like a good book. One morning, Rooster woke up with a terrible sore throat. Oh no, he coughed. What should I do? My throat hurts too much to cock a doodle doo. Rooster wondered how he was going to wake up Farmer Ted and the animals without cock a doodle dooing. He went to the hen house. But no one was collecting eggs. The hens were all asleep. Cough, cough. Wake up, hens, Rooster whispered. I can't cock a doodle doo. Cluck, cluck. You poor thing. Cluck, cluck. You look exhausted. Cluck, cluck, cluck the hens. How will you wake up Farmer Ted without cock a doodle dooing? Maybe. The cows will know. So the hens followed Rooster into the cow barn. No one was getting milked. The cows were all asleep. <laughs> Wake up, cows! I can't cock a doodle do. Oh my! How utterly! Frustrating, mooed the cows. How will you wake up Farmer Ted without cock-a-doodle-dooing? Maybe the sheep will know, said Rooster. So the cows followed the hens who followed the rooster to the sheep pasture. But no one was getting sheared. The sheep were all asleep. <clears throat> Wake up, sheep! I can't cock a doodle do. That's bad, bad news! Bought the sheep. How we wake up Farmer Ted without cock a doodle doing? Hmm, maybe the pigs will know. So the sheep followed the cows, he followed the hens, he followed the rooster to the pig pen. No one was pouring slop. The pigs were all asleep. <clears throat> Wake up, pigs! Rooster can't cock a doodle doo. Oh dear, that's a muddy big problem, winked the pigs. Right, how will you wake up Farmer Ted without cock a doodle dooing? You don't know, bawled the sheep. Now what will we do? There's no one left to ask. Let's go to Farmer Ted's house, Rooster said. We'll walk in and wake him up. So the pigs followed the cows, he followed the sheep, he followed the hens, he followed the rooster to Farmer Ted's house. And the house was locked. Cluck, cluck. Now no one will collect our eggs. Cluck, cluck, cluck the hens. If someone doesn't milk us, we're going to burst, mooed the cows. Nah, our wool is so long, we're tripping on it, behind the sheep. Arr, we're starving, oinked the pigs. Rooster felt just awful. This was all his fault. Farmer Ted's bedroom was way up on the third floor, and there was no way to wake him. Hmm, unless... I've got an idea, Rooster whispered. So the animals huddled around him. Then... The cows... Wait, the cows stood in the porch, and the sheep stood in the cows, and the pigs stood in the sheep, and the hens stood in the pigs, and Rooster stood on the very top and he was just able to peek into the window. Oh my! What's all this ruckus? said Farmer Ted as he opened the window. <coughs> Rooster pointed to his sore throat. Farmer Ted 
squinted at the sun. It's getting late, he said, putting on his overalls. I have to finish the chores before the sun sets, or I won't be able to see what I'm doing. First, Farmer Ted warmed up some tea with honey for a rooster and carried him to a chair by the pond to rest. Then he quickly set out to work. The animals all watched Farmer Ted. Cluck, cluck. He's never going to finish the chores before I sense it. Cluck, cluck. Clucked the hens. Probably not. We've got to help him before our milk curdles. Oh, I, I have an idea, winked the pigs. So the animals huddled together, and then... They helped Farmer Ted collect the eggs. They helped Farmer Ted milk the cows. Hmm. Oh. Then they helped him shear the sheep. Ah. <laughs> And finally, they helped Farmer Ted pour slop for the pigs. Whoosh! Mm. And the sun had finally set on the farm. And after their busy day, the animals and Farmer Ted were ready for bed. Rooster had rested all day on the chair by the pond. His throat was nice and warm from the tea he sipped, and he felt much better. Thanks for your help today. Gork -a -doo -a -doo. He crowed with all his might. Glad to help. Just please pipe down. Cluck the hens. Mm, we're trying to get some sleep. Booed the cows. <laughs> Give it a rest. Behind the sheep. Save it for the morning. Oink the pigs. And that's exactly what Rooster did. Good night, Rooster.